Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is small incision cataract surgery. The superior rectus brittle suture is necessary for the beginners. Use a muscle hook to turn the eyeball down and then use this superior rectus holding forceps and place a superior rectus brittle suture. It will help you in working superiorly. It will create a lot of working area. It will keep the eyeball stable for making the tunnel and many other things. Povidone iodine has been applied over the ocular surface and now the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated by eringa lactate or balanced salt solution. And now you have to do peritomy, conjunctival peritomy. We can see this is not a hard cataract, so we don't need a large incision. This incision is about 5.75 or 6 millimeter. A small radial cut, go over the scleral surface, take the tenons, go between the tenons and the sclera and make this incision along the limbus and do this peritomy. This must peritomy is enough. Now mild weight field cautery is done. Again this is necessary for the beginners. Save this blood vessel which is piercing the sclera and going towards choroid. So that blood vessel has been spared and other areas has been mildly cauterized. And now this is the incision. Don't go too much posteriorly. This is enough. If you go too much posteriorly, you will be having a lot of difficulty in making the tunnel. After doing some cases you can go little posteriorly and you can do a more frown incision. This is almost straight incision or a very mild frown incision. And now the depth of the tunnel should be equal in from one end to the other end and now find a plane should not be thin or should not be very thick the anterior wall of the tunnel if the anterior wall is thin there can be a buttonhole and you may have to go to another side if it is thick you may have to go to you may have premature entry so finding the right thickness of the anterior wall of the tunnel is very important it's a final incision the inner aspect of the tunnel is wider than the outer aspect this is a side port at around 8.45 o'clock and now the beginners can take help of tripanblue dye for doing capsulorexis but we should not be dependent on tripanblue dye 
should be able to do it without die in most of the cases. Yes, the die is washed out and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into, uh, into the anterior chamber. The air bubble should be removed. Many colleagues don't use air bubble and that is okay. Now see how to make a rexus with this needle system. You made a flap, flip the flap and now guide this flap all around. Let us see if we can do a round axis with this needle itself. Yes, it is very much possible. You just have to bring some control in the delicate muscles of your hands. Yes, now the tunnel is to be opened. So long the tunnel is blind, now the tunnel will be opened. Go to the anterior extreme of the tunnel. After going to the anterior extreme, turn inward and enter into the anterior chamber. Now cut when you go forward from one end to the other end and open this tunnel. Yes. This is the passage for nucleus delivery and intraocular lens implantation. Now let us see if the nucleus prolapses by hydrodissection only. Yes. When the rexis is adequate, most of the time the nucleus will prolapse by hydrodissection only and now this is 2% HPMC again the nucleus has been prolapsed in anterior chamber and now the nucleus is to be delivered I'm using a fish hook let us see if we can use this fish hook and deliver the nucleus. Go like this, turn it towards the nucleus and pull the nucleus. In this case what happened? The nucleus didn't come but the nucleus is engaged in the tunnel. When the nucleus is engaged in the tunnel you can push it from behind from the anterior chamber with a Sinsky hook or a chopper blunt chopper and you can deliver the nucleus in this way. Now press the lower inferior leaf, posterior leaf and the rest of the lens matter comes out. Inject some more visco and now whatever lens matter is left is to be removed. Cortical cleanup is to be done cortex from the inferior aspect can be very easily removed by the Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauze Simco cortex from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock is being removed by this instrument. Now go through the side port, remove the cortex from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Yes, cortical cleanup has been done. Posterior capsule is clean. There is no need of any polishing. And now this is visco filling up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag. You know when we have an incision which is about six millimeter 
we can use PMMA non full intraocular lens it is very good material it remains clear lifelong no uh, glistening has been observed in my practice of 25 years in these lenses this is PMMA a lens the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag now see how to place the tailing haptic in the capsular bag gently put it in the capsular bag and now the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag what next you just have to remove the viscoelastic substance that has been used so this is irrigation of the viscoelastic substance from the anterior chamber going behind the lens irrigating the capsular bag yes so most of the viscoelastic substance has come out Whatever we do, SICS or FECO or SCC, we must be very meticulous in our steps. By this time, the side boot has been closed by corneal stromal hydration. And now, the antechamber has to be nicely formed. I usually do a final lavage of the anterior chamber with ringer lactate or BSS. Yes, this is formation of anterior chamber anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is to be concluded one way to oppose the conjunctiva is just inject gentamicin and dexamethasone subconjunctivally about 5 mm behind the limbus thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in doing your SICS. This video is meant mainly for the ophthalmology residents all over the world. Thank you very much for your attention.